Here's how to prepare your onion for the mitosis lab. You want to make a small cut right here above the roots. You don't have to cut off the roots, you just want to make a small cut to open up some fresh tissue. You could also try making a cut vertically like this. You want to puncture the skin of the onion so that the water can penetrate and the roots can get out. If you don't have visible roots on your onion, it's okay. Just look for the bottom of the onion where the roots used to be. Don't cut here on this side of the onion where it would sprout. Cut down here near where the roots are or where the roots used to be if they've been pulled off. Once you've cut your onion, you want to place some toothpicks about half a centimeter up from where you've cut. It doesn't matter too much. This is just to hold the onion from falling in the glass of water. Or if you have a small glass, you can just set it right in the glass. You just don't want too much of the onion to be submerged. If you don't have any toothpicks, you could also use bamboo skewers that people use for kebabs when they barbecue. Just cut them to length so they don't stick out and injure anyone in your household. To submerge the onion water, you just want the water to come to the bottom of the onion. Here I'm using a big glass and I had to use some toothpicks. A small jar also works great. My onion's pretty large so it's not going to fall into the jar. The water's going to come up just to the bottom of the onion. I don't want to submerge my whole onion in the water. Remember, it's the white new shoots, the white new roots, that you'll want to use for the mitosis lab. Now I'm ready to do the observing mitosis lab. I want to get out my microscope by taking off the dust cover. I want to put in the 15 eyepiece. I've already taken the mirror off from the last lab and added the light. Remember, you have to charge your light for several hours before it will work. There's a switch right here on the light that turns it on. I'm going to turn on the light source. Here's the prepared slide. It's the combo onion root and root nodule. It comes in a white case like this. You'll find it in your kit. Take it out of the white case and place it on the stage of your microscope. I've turned the clips to the side to make it easier to maneuver the slide and find where the onion root tip is. I'm going to use my adjustment here to bring it into focus and look for the purple stained tissue. And there it is. I want to look at the pointy end of the root because that's where the meristem is, where we're, all the mitosis will be going on. Now, I want to move to the next higher power here so I can see mitosis in more detail. You may have to move your slide just a bit. There we go. Now that I've located my sl the tip of the onion, now I want to move my clips into place to keep the slide exactly where I want it. time to move to the highest power so I can take a really good look at the slide at the cells undergoing mitosis. It's very careful when you move to the higher power that you don't run into the slide. If you're bringing in things into focus do it very very slowly so you don't run your objective into the slide and break both the objective and the slide. So now it's time to use our onion to do our own slide. I'm going to take the toothpicks out of the onion so I can lay it down on my foam tray here and use my scalpel to cut off a few of the root tips. I want just the very end of the roots because that's where the most mitosis is going on. I've cut off three root tips and I'll just lift them with my scalpel and put them on the slide. Now I'm going to use some acetocarmine stain and make sure I have my gloves on. 
I'm going to put two to three drops of acetocarmine stain on my root tips and wait 15 minutes for the stain to be taken up by the roots. Notice I'm working on a tray here so I don't get my work surface stained. This acetocarmine will stain your hands, your work surface, and your clothing, so be very careful. Here's the slide I prepared of onion root tips, and I stained them with the stain. I'm going to put my slide that I prepared under my microscope under the lowest power. That'll help me find where the root tips are. Excellent, I found the root tip. So now that I know exactly where I want to look, I'm going to put the stage clips on very carefully. Then I want to move to a higher power. I can see the cells at this point, but I don't see the nucleus clearly, so I want to go to the highest power. When you move to the highest power objective, you want to do it very carefully so that the slide does not run into the objective. If you focus at this, do very carefully because you can run the objective into the slide and break the lens and the slide. Here's where you want to really check out your cells and draw the phases of mitosis. Remember, the magnification is the eyepiece times the objective.